Hello, hello guys, how are we doing and welcome back to the channel. Here is an example of a near perfect Karachi control game. I get 10 kills around, we win 3-0 and it's over 2kd. It's not just like I'm kill or either, it's a decent mixture of doing the teamwork, getting on the point and just getting the kills to back it up. So we're going to be going through what's going through my mind as we're playing the map and uh, hopefully it helps you out. If you have any questions about spawns and everything, we are going to be touching on that. So if you're not sure how to manipulate spawns on Karachi control, this is hopefully going to do that for you. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So you can see we're sort of just stopping on the points straight away here. The quicker we can get A, the quicker we can progress to B. Um, unfortunately, we did leave top second, which meant that we did get picked off from there. But it's not the end of the world. If we just take it back a little bit here, we can see that, you know, we've got a little bit of a player pushed out uh, towards the, you know, the top red or right hand side of our spawn. So coming off spawn, I'm just going to be super wary there. Obviously, there's a guy top left to, um, uh, to, to look out for. Just seen them top third. Managed to get a kill, thankfully. But coming out of uh, Karol Karachi, there's literally three lanes. So you're running at people and it's a little bit of a nightmare. So right now, I'm taking a look at the attack map. And by doing this, as I say, people ask me this all the time. I'm literally just pressing the scoreboard and then R1 or RB. Uh, but I'm just doing it super quickly. So from here, I can see we've got a decent amount of mid control. Um, as it stands, I've got the whole left lane. So if any enemy comes off spawn and tries to you know, come down this right-hand side here... Um, they're pretty much going to be met with me. And uh, yeah, it means that when essentially when my teammates are on A, all they really need to do is watch their red and Vengdon push and we're pretty much chill. So that's what we're trying to focus on here. Uh, unfortunately, I do get red. Um, that was a little bit unfortunate. I must have got awful timing. Um, but yeah, we're spawning out that we're not getting shot from the people on the right. So it means they haven't pushed out scrap. Um, and I'm bear just you know bearing that in mind. So as I'm pushing out to the same position again, I'm holding this position because I'm aware of how powerful it is. So that's why I'm coming back to it over and over again. As I say, you can see from uh, from the position I'm in, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, let's say I'm here, you can pretty much see all the way through towards red. So even if the teammates, you know, just sat on point and try and capture it, you're not just holding this street here. You're not, you know, you've got their push to church. You can get them. Any people that have come and done bending and crossing there, you've got them. And then all I'm pushing top red, you've also got the view of that. So you're not only just watching the B street, you're doing so much more for the team, uh, which is why it's such a decent hold spot to have, um, you know, to try and get kills and to just, you know, enable your teammates to get A. Now I did get a kill and I'm moving as a result of that because I don't want to, you know, stay stagnant in the same place. And now it's all about trying to get that map control, try and get to that next position, similar to invasion control, uh, you know, control is literally just about getting up the map, getting on a power spot. I'm going to pause this here quickly. Getting on a power spot and then progressing up the map to the next power spot and then getting your kills. So you're going to see me stare at the scoreboard here for a little while and there's a reason why. So when you're pushed up this far on the map, the enemy is likely to spawn back here, which means in order to get to a point, they're probably going to run B. They're going to run like this, that, or they're going to run, you know, straight to this alley. Uh, but either way, you want to try and catch them crossing here. And in order to do this, that, do so, you need to be here watching them cross. But you cannot be here as they spawn. Otherwise, they'll spawn, you know, pretty much on B um, or even behind you. They can sometimes spawn there, which is a little bit unpredictable. So what you need to do is sort of delay your push, sit next to the white van, wait for the... Um, if we pause it here, you'll see what I'm doing here. If you Wait for this skull to disappear and then push up to this heady and then watch this line of sight and you'll just see them run across in front of you. We'll see how this plays out in practice just now. So again, wait for that cross to disappear just here. Now I push and it's a free kill. They're sort of expecting it, sort of not. Uh, and again, I'm just sort of repositioning. So I've just got a kill there. There's two people down on the enemy team and I'm sort of aware they're going to be looking for me. So I'm playing a little bit of a credit angle here. From here, again, it's all about cutting off the map for your teammates. So whilst my teammates are engaging in people over here, it is what it is. Um, but from this position, you can see I'm sat sort of here and I've got the whole line of sight across here. Now, what that essentially means is that when the enemy come off spawn, whether they spawn here, here, or here, they are the only route they can go without seeing, without me seeing them, is over towards B, which means that the enemy, I can give full information for my team that all they really need to focus on is this hop-up point here. They just need to be watching that, and that'll give the whole, you know, the information for the entire enemy team. Um, that, or if they decide to, you know, run out here and chow me, I've got the kill. If they decide to, you know, run down my street, I've got the kill. Um, but yeah, it's a really strong position to hold, especially when you're trying to reposition from getting that initial spawn trap. Again, I'm trying to communicate they can only come hop up of spawn. Do you manage to get a decent kill? I'm getting stunned out though, because obviously there's red dots on the radar every time I shoot. And I'm just trying to really play that, uh, that you know, really annoying, uh, really annoying position. 
checking top satellite because like, I'm not sure where they're going to be. Unfortunately, do get traded and lose the gunfight. I did have two on me. So, um, at this point, there are a there's a massive spawn you can try and obtain when you're getting B. So when B is the only left, there is a spawn just here on D on offense. That means, and whilst you're spawning here, the enemy team are actually spawning you know a little bit further out here. You know, sometimes they get a lucky spawn here. But you'll notice what you'll notice from this over top down position is that this is exactly the same distance, pretty much as that, which means that as soon as you can obtain these spawns here, all you need to do is get the trades and run to the hill because essentially it's a, it's a leg race essentially to be and um, they've got to hop over the wall. So as soon as you get these spawns, it's pretty much GG from there. And we're just going to see how that plays out and how advantageous that can be when you're on offense on Karachi control. But the biggest thing here is just to not keep running through middle. I could have easily run through middle here. You want to really obtain map uh, red control uh, and then doing so you'll get the really, really close spawn. So my teammate's still spawning out, which tells me that there's an enemy in red somewhere. Again, this guy's in tickets, so that we are going to be keep spawning out. Um, those That person in tickets is the only one basically stopping us from spawning closer. Um, but I'm sort of playing for them, trying to be really difficult. Unfortunately, don't get the trade. Um, but yeah, the main focus here on this in this you know at this point is to try and get red control. I've spawned very close, as you can see. So if we take a step back here, I've spawned here. Any kills we get are going to spawn the enemy. You know here closest sometimes they spawn back here depending on how far we pushed up to this hop up but as it's, it is literally a leg race you can get to know get into the window you can watch their push out of you know the hop up uh that or they're forced you know run up to the satellite and run to ac it's and you know you've just got to throw yourself at the hill as much as you can here trust to get the kills get the trades uh and yeah bob's your uncle as they say go, go, go. that guy got absolutely spat on don't know how i managed to kill them Again, they're dying and they are spawning in Narnia. So it's really essential that we're just, you know, keeping up the pressure. Uh, I'm going to still spawn close here. And again, any kills I've just got on, I'm going to be pretty much there exact same time as them. So it's just about running. This is a lovely little nade you can do to just deter the enemy push. So whenever you spawn here, essentially from where I am, which is probably about here, if you all, this nade will land just here and it basically deters the enemy from pushing. Anyone who's, you know, somehow won the foot race and come off this spawn and decided to run this way, they're going to be damaged to my nade. It's going to help my team out on the point a little bit because the enemies are going to be challenging a week and it's just going to deter them, uh, make them weak and uh, give me info if anyone's there. So I use both my stun and my nade just to stop them pushing, just get that cross. And that's three down just like that. Now, I do usually like to possess a little bit more map control, so I do like to, you know, make sure I've got the hop-up, but I was weak in that position and I didn't want to move. I wanted to maintain my position, ensure that I wasn't weak uh, or wasn't getting traded from my weakness. I just get the kill, swing round, and that's the round. So as I say, it's all about having these spawns here. This is the most important part because all it means then is you can get an easy nato here. You run into the point just as quickly as they run into the point and... Uh, yeah, they're restricted as to where they can go. From here, you can run all the way around to red. You can, you know, go top. You can go this way. Uh, you can even run around and hop up to here, up the ladder. There's so many ways you can go from here, whereas the enemy is simply restricted to hopping over here to get to be as quick as you can. So it's a massive, massive, massive advantage. So on offense here, you'll see, on defense here, I'm going to just tell you guys a little bit of a route I like to take here. I don't know where these guys have come from. Um, but essentially what I like to do is ensure that there's a decent spread of map control. So... Depending on where my teammates go, uh, you want probably about three people going A. So whether that's, you know, a couple of people going around here and hopping up to top third and then looking down, uh, whether it's people going top here and watching down there to AC, or uh, whether it's someone just going bridge and making sure that, they, you know, they can't get through the right-hand side. And then the final person I like to do in the final place I usually like to play is take a route all the way through B, stun over here. You'll see me do this, hopefully. That stun will get me information on anyone pushing towards B. When it's clear and I know that my stun hasn't hit anything, I would push around and then potentially get to the flank for A. But you'll notice when I said last round that you do not want to give the enemy these spawns A. You want to make sure that this area is blocked as much as bloody possible. Because otherwise, when they've captured A, they're going to spawn here and it's a leg race from our spawn to their spawn and they're probably going to win that as we just saw on the last offense we just had. So I do like to play an early B push here, maybe pinch, maybe get some kills, but essentially I want to control this area here and I want to try and make sure that my teammates are controlling this area here because with me being here, 
they're going to spawn, you know, sometimes they spawn market, which means it's a real long stretch to be. Sometimes they, you know, they do just keep spawning in the back here, which means they're running out into the open. I can watch their cross completely out of spawn. Um, but on defense, you need to need, I can't emphasize this enough, you need to control this spot area uh, over towards P5. So we'll see if we do exactly what I said. Um, so nice little stun over just like so. We try and progress up the map, didn't get a stun. Got my pistol out just so I can get there quicker. And the important part of this is making sure that the teammates are putting enough pressure frontwards. If my teammates aren't really doing anything from the front, I don't, you know, they're going to expect a pinch. Um, but my teammates have done a good job there, trying to get the kills, trying to be annoying. Um, just like so. So that's four people there. I don't know whether you can hear the comms quite so much because I've turned it down a little bit. Um, but that's three kills. The last guy was on time and we just killed the player on time, which means that we're essentially we literally should be seeing every single one of them come out of their spawn. Sorry, it's a bit laggy. I don't know what's going on here. Bear with me. Let's rewind that a little bit. There we go. Unfortunately, missed that guy. So, teammate has done absolutely massive work there. You can see that I've died at Shaq. They've run straight over towards uh, Shaq's to just, you know, fill my gap because essentially we need someone out there at every single time. You can see I'm not really trying to prioritize that at this point because I don't want them to get an easy spawn for B. At the moment they spawn easily at B, they're going to run to B uh, and they're going to, you know, they're going to split our minds a little bit here. And you can see exactly that. That's exactly what's just happened. So you'll see, you're probably wondering why I'm not pushing out the top here. So as it stands, we've got no, we've got a little bit of pressure towards the left. We've got a teammate behind me here who can sort of help out if needs be to go left. We've got a player who looks like they're going to be running down the right-hand street here. So I'm thinking, you know what, let me just try and cover mid-map here. Let's see what I can do. Shots are a little bit wanky, but I try and do as much damage as I can. Uh, and again, I'm just making sure that we're pushed out this right-hand side of the map here. Teammate is pushed out left here, which is absolutely massive. It saves me doing it. Um, Managed to get the kills. Again, we're still looking for a couple of people to, you know, uh, coming off that point. Trying to finesse my life as much as possible, of course. And at this moment, I have absolutely zero info on a lot of people. So my main concern here is to make sure I'm covering as much of the map as possible. So you can see here that I've got pretty much every push to be other than if they hop out the top window and go right. So you can see, you know, I'm in this position here. Um, let me just mark my spot. I'm, I'm pretty much like, where am I? I'm underneath somewhere. I'm like here underneath. Now from this position, I can pretty much see, you know, if they want to hop up, I've got that line of sight. If they uh, want to come down the left, I've got, you know, that line of sight. Uh, and I've also got the line of sight looking towards, uh, you know, bottom if they need to as well so i've got pretty much every angle covered they can't really get to be without me seeing and i know i'm not maybe going to be able to kill them at every los so for example if they do end up hopping over here by the time they get behind the building i'm not gonna be able to kill them um but it should do enough for me to uh not worry too much and my teammate spawning close basically tells me that there's no one about to hop up so i've got a little bit of confidence that there's no one pushed into our spawn so the chances are they are probably just you know top red being really really annoying A bit laggy, let me just rewind this a second. Nice, so my teammate got a kill out left. And again, we're just playing for kills here. We're trying to get these initial kills and then we can push up into Shaq. So that's one. Unfortunately, my, I'm getting shot by my teammates close enough to trade me out here. Caught them going into single. Sorry, my gameplay is super laggy. I'm not sure why. Just bloody media player. There you go. And again, it's all about trying to get these initial kills and then we can push up a little bit. Um, you can see my teammates pushed out shacks, which is absolutely massive because it means they're not going to spawn really close. Um, but I've got, again, info on two people. I've got someone top AC, someone top red, and I'm still spawning close, which means they're not really uh, playing too too aggressively. Now, a massive mistake I'm seeing from here, these two people, is that, you know, from where we are, you want to sort of try and push out as much as you can. So 
all it takes is for this teammate here to die out of scrap and the enemy team are going to be able to spawn really, really close here. So the fact that my teammate has just died of scrap means that they can spawn there. And the fact that my teammates are both just sat here and here means that they're waiting for these gunfights to come to them, which is the worst thing you can do. Now, if you're guaranteed a kill, I mean, this guy looks like he's stair glitching, which you probably guaranteed the kill. Um, but realistically, you lose that gunfight and you lose that gunfight, you're spawning back here and the enemy are just going to, you know, get onto the hill really, really quickly. The bonus of pushing up and the bonus of Juno trying to get out to red and taking on a gunfight here or maybe pushing up to the yellow car and taking the gunfight there means that, you know, you're going to be seeing people who are further away. So let's say, you know, if you're bottom tickets, you'll probably see someone bottom, you know, P old P5. If you're bottom yellow, you'll probably see someone maybe top fire or coming out of vending. But essentially it means that when you're taking the gunfights on, uh, they're further away, which means that if you die, you spawn in and, you know, you're probably just as close to hill as they are, which means that at least you've got a little bit of an advantage. Uh, whereas, as you can see, my teammates are literally sat on the hill. They lose these gunfights from potentially here. And, I don't know, someone pushed up to here. By the time they get onto the point, we've just spawned in and then we've just got to hop over the hop up. So it's really, really, really not a great idea just to stay stagnant on the hill. That's the worst thing you can do. And it's just because of that, you lose the gunfight risk and... Uh, you're spawning back in Narnia whilst they're pretty much on the point. One shot tickets. I'm getting a little bit frustrated that my teammates aren't pushed out as much as I can. But you can see I'm constantly checking that attack map, making sure that we're fully aware of the enemy can be. And uh Yeah. One shot vendor left. No, so I can help. So you'll see what route I did there. So a lot of people when they see people on B. Uh, they like to hop up or go with a hop up. But the, the one place they are guaranteed to, to be watching when they're on B is probably this hop up. It's a really free kill. And as a result, I do not like pushing it. As a rule, it's my last resort. If I literally have no time to go around, I'm not going to be hopping up that hop up. You can see there's only one person on it because of how slow the tick is going up. So that means I've got time you know, to take a route. I've gone up top AC. Uh, I've run out of spawn, gone up top AC, and I'm able to hop into red. And again, I've got the map control from here. I can see anyone crossing into B. And, you know, I can get some kills and then go and top out of here. And again, we're on that spawn track where I can see people. So it's all about getting that route to get the most control of the map as possible. Back room. So I'm trying to communicate where they are for my teammates. I mean, it's getting the kills, which is absolutely massive. And again, I'm just playing my life. There's seven seconds left. I don't really need to do too much because, you know, by the time they kill me, there's not going to be much time to get the kills, uh, get to the hill, sorry. But, um... Yeah, we're doing as much as we can here, getting the kills. I'm playing for trying. I'm trying to play for some spawners. Unfortunately, do not get that kill. Otherwise, I'd have got. You know, that'd have been 21 kills. But hey, it is what it is. Now, moving on to defense again, offense again. You're going to see me do something very similar. I'm not going to try and repeat myself. Um, but we've just got to bosh out A. Try and get as much map control as we can. Get the close spawns for B. And uh, yeah, that will be all she wrote. You're going to see a very similar pattern happen over and over again, just because of how successfully it works. Now, you'll see I throw a stun out left here. So a lot of people who, you know, spawn this side and, you know, we're spawning over here. Um, and the route they like to take is around B Street. And from here, they can either, you know, pinch point here. They can hop up the scaffold and get to top E2. Or they can even get to top third. So my stun, you know, being thrown from here over to here in this area essentially means, essentially tells me if anyone's trying to do any of those three. In fact, I don't get anyone stunned. Meaning they're either pushing it really late or... Uh, they're more likely to be, you know, in church or top church, or they're more likely to be in red or top AC. But essentially, it means that I'm pretty much covered for a fair amount of time from this left-hand side. Um, so getting nothing on that stun is good information. So again, I'm taking up a little bit of position here. You're probably wondering I'm not, I'm not getting directly on the point. And it's just because I'm trying not to, you know... I'm trying to allow my teammates to get as much kill time as I can um, whilst being that deterrence. The fact is, when we're all on the point, it's really, really hard for us to you know, maintain a still life. At this point, I was hoping my enemies were going to stay down because what I can do when my, enemies are when, my sorry, my enemies, when my teammates are staying down on the hill, I have everything for them. From this position, you know, unfortunately, the teammate on the hill just did get traded. Um, but if they lay down, got took cover, I've got everything for them. So that's what I sort of hope my teammates would do. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Do manage to get a two piece and I hop directly back on the hill to apply that pressure. Barrels. 
Now, again, I'm always looking at the minimap. When I'm reloading, there's nothing else I can be doing other than looking at the minimap because there's nothing else. I can't shoot. I can't, you know, I can't throw a nade. So when I'm reloading, that is the best time to be looking at the minimap. So I know I'm covered from the left. I don't really need to be conscious of that. So all I really need to do is look for my uh, look for the red push. Again, I'm getting information here. You've seen a couple of red dots pop up in the minimap, so I know there's people sort of a vending area. Um, so I'm just really looking for that area for that sort of map control. Now, again, you're trying to see me push up the left-hand side here. Now, you're probably wondering, right, why are you doing that? That's going to spawn them potentially close to B. Maybe. Uh, but again, from this position, I can tell you that my whole team, that they're only going to be coming hop up, and it means that I've got every single push of theirs, um, you know, if they decide to come out this way. Again, waiting for the skull, waiting for the kill. Skull disappears, I challenge, and I get the kill. It's like clockwork, guys. It's literally this easy. They're watching their flank, which was actually a bizarre thing to do. Uh, and unfortunately, I do get chased down. So we're still not quite spawning close to A as B as I wanted to. And I've just noticed there's a teammate who's just died from someone in red. So I'm sort of trying to play this cruddy area here. Try and get my kills. Uh, you know, try and clear this guy out. I'm using my stuns. I'm using my nades. Just throwing everything I can at them. Because as soon as this guy dies, we can get into red easier. And which means we can spawn to B closer. So this is such an advantage in getting this kill. Thankfully, my teammates did a really good job at getting the trade for me. Um, I did spawn out, which tells me that there's an enemy in red. Um, so I am, you know, pushing up. Uh, getting to be as much as I can, but a little bit less aggressively because I know there's going to be someone there. So I'm throwing a stun just to get some sort of stun check. Yeah, and that was just stupid. You should never, ever, ever jump out a single window without checking everything first. You know, there's you, as long as you check top AC, top fire, you should be absolutely fine. But we've drawn the teammates, the enemy team, close enough to B to enable us to spawn closer to B. Um, so again, you're going to see me throw the same stun, the same nade over. Um, and I promise you, that's probably going to get some good damage out, some kills. And uh, somehow, every single one of them got over. My teammates, I'm not sure what they were holding, but there's uh, let three people over the hill, over the uh, over the hill, over the over the wall. Sorry. Um, but yeah, it's fine. There's 13 v 12. Every kill we get is equal to every kill they get because we're spawning the similar area of parts. And again, it's all about trying to gain that map presence. Now, you'll, what you'll see me do here is just try and stop them from getting over the wall. Now, instead of helping directly on B, I'm trying to allow my teammates to push up easily here. So the enemies are spawning here. They can either, you know, run yellow and go top. They can run yellow and go bottom. Um, or they can get the hop up. For me, as long as I can maintain this one area here, it allows my teammates to just focus on this or this. Uh, which means that they've pretty much got a free route to be because in order to get up here, it's a real long route for the enemy to get to from their spawn. So I'm not necessarily getting on the hill. Once I get enough, you know, enough help and enough support and my teammates are closer, I'll get on the hill. But for now, I'm just trying to get my kills, play my life and uh, try and do what I can to just maintain this area of the map. To get the comment that there's someone pushing from the back, so I managed to get this kill. And unfortunately, milk that kill. I was trying to get on top of the step, but hey, it is what it is. But you get the presence, you get the like the essence of what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to get that map control, stop them getting across, that hop up. And uh, yeah, massive two-piece out of my teammate here. Again, I'm still nading that. If it delays their push somewhat, absolutely grand. Uh, and then because of how many lives they've got and we're on the point, they're going to be forced to get this hop up. Um so the easiest route for me was to just get to this area here. If I tried to get on the point, it's a bit fiddly. I've had to, I have to then turn my back to where they're going to be coming from, uh, you know, just to position myself properly. So my thought process here was literally just get to the point. I don't usually like doing this, but unless it's this close, like unless they've got this little lies remaining. Um, yeah, and that's game. So I go 30-13 in a swift 3-0 Karachi hard, uh, hard point control. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something and I will see you in the next one. Ciao for now.